is my urine too dark? Am I staying enough hydrated? Do I need to take eight ounces of water every day, eight times a day? It's important to know the color of your urine in regards to your hydration status. We use that as a baseline that can guide us, are you hydrated enough or are you not? When you're dehydrated, it can predispose you to things like kidney stones that we as urologists see, but it can also predispose you to other conditions that your PCP or other doctor may see. We want your urine clear as water or very light yellow. Amber to brownish can mean dehydration. If it's browner or even thicker, sometimes that can be representative kidney issues. In regards to other colors on the spectrum, we don't see them quite as commonly, uh, but orange urine can be a sign of liver dysfunction, especially if you have some jaundice or yellow skin. And then red is really the thing that I want to talk the most about our patients. Blood in your urine, when you see it about 8% of the time, it can be a sign of a malignancy, a kidney, a ureteral, or a bladder cancer. It's not always that, 92% of the time, it's something like a kidney stone, an infection, or a lot of times we don't even find the source of it, we just have to rule out a cancer. Water is the best thing, and nobody can drink eight ounces eight times a day regularly. It really is a very hard thing to do. And then you could predispose yourself to ending up in our office for other reasons, like incontinence or bladder overactivity if you drink too much water. But water in general is the best thing to drink. Coffee and tea are not bad sources of that. They're predominantly water, actually. So you can get some water and good hydration from that. However, it does predispose you to overactive bladder. And if you have conditions with chronic bladder pain, like interstitial cystitis, it can really exacerbate those symptoms. I do really want to reiterate the importance if you have blood in your urine, either seeing your primary care doctor or coming to see us as urologists. Because bladder cancer and kidney cancer are actually increasing in their incidence. And that is one of our first screening tools that we use.